Okay, let's talk about the new premium tank, the T77, which you can only earn through special footlockers or by defeating wargaming employees. Okay, so the mo so the only important footlocker to worry about and to talk about concerning this video is the special footlocker, which is the golden one. It's the only footlocker that allows you to unlock the T77 currently. You can't just buy it outright. Um, so there's two ways to get this. You can either purchase it, as if we scroll down here, you can see the purchase costs here. Uh, so they're about a dollar each. Uh, for ten, you pay nine, so you get ten percent off. Okay. Um, the only other way to earn a T77 currently is to defeat a wargaming employee uh, during certain times of the day when they're playing the Waffen Trigger. That is the, so those are the only two ways you can get the T77. Some other tanks you can unlock with these special boxes which um, I unlocked myself which was the Conan Jagdpanzer 105. Um, but there, as you can see there's a whole list of tanks here that you can unlock with these special loot boxes. And I'm calling them loot boxes on purpose because that's what they are, you're just gambling. Um, some people have uh, compared them to slot machines as the slot machine mentality. Uh, you only put in a little bit and you get out a lot potentially, right? I am aware that big t big YouTubers and content creators uh, partner with Wargaming all receive 200 of these loot boxes um, and had some rough things to say about the boxes. Uh, personally, I don't like the idea of gambling either, but at the same time, I only spent 18 bucks and I got a T77 and a Conan Jagdpanzer out of the whole thing, plus a lot of other things. So, I would say in this case, worth it overall. Uh, with all that being said, you know, I paid $18 for over $100 worth of material in game. Um, obviously the problem lies in that it's, <laughs> it's simply not the case for a lot of people. Um, I personally know people who spent 80 to 150 bucks um, and still didn't receive the T77 that they wanted so badly. Um, but enough about the loot boxes, let's move on to the focus of the video which is the T77. Uh, we're going to talk about how, well we're going to see how it plays and uh, we're going to go over the armor values and we're going to go over the gun values. So let's get into that. Okay, so let's take a look here at the T77 stats. Um, and I put this Stritzfunk S1 up beside it just for one reason, and I'll go over that in a minute. So its DPM is 1530, which is pretty abysmal, even at tier 8. I mean, you know, most tier 8 heavy tanks have around 1500 hit points, right? So it would, it would take you a minute to take one down. Um, it's Average damage is 360, average penetration is 232, which is better than the T32, so that's great. And its, um, it's heat, actually, has a penetration of 300, not 300, but 299, so almost 300. It's actually really crazy. Uh, rate of fire is 4.25 a minute, reload time is 38.35. Now keep in mind, this is without any crew skills, this is without any equipment. Um, personally, I've gotten mine down to right at 36 seconds which is still it, bad <laughs> um, obviously the caliber is 120 clip size is 3 uh, total clip damage is 1080 at with 4 seconds that's that's really good that, that's really good um, I don't really care about ammo capacity or any of that so let's go down here to aim time so aim time is 2.59 dispersion is 0.35 uh, gun elevation is 15 and gun depression is 8. 8 degrees of gun depression is pretty good. Um, forward speed is 48. Reverse speed is 12. Essentially, think of this as a T57 just at tier 8. Its reverse speed is awful, so be mindful of that. Um, and then its whole armor on the front is 125. On the side, sides, it's 76.3. A 2 0 on the on the rear it's 35. Turret armor on the front's 152, on the sides it's 70, and on the back it is 50. The turret armor is okay, it will bounce shots, but you can't rely on it too much. Obviously, camo is not really important, I won't talk about that. So, the biggest reason I put the Stritzfung up next to this is just to show the difference in DPM here. So, 
I know the Stritzfunk is not a heavy tank or anything like that, but the, my Stritzfunk personally, with all the stuff I have on it, is sitting at 2700 DPM. I think my T77 is just above like 1600. So <laughs> a whole thousand in difference. Its DPM is just awful. And what kills it is this overall, the uh, clip reload time being as long as it is, you're waiting over half a minute for your clip. Now bear in mind with the T57, I, I think it's uh, 24 seconds and you get four shots. So, you know, a bit of a difference there, but it is a tier eight and it's still a good tank. You just have to play it as a support tank. Okay, so I just wanted to show a little bit of the gameplay from the T77. As you can see here, this is going to be an example of a clip well used. <laughs> this is, so I, I just hit the IS-3. This ended up being one of the better games that I had in the T-77. I actually didn't have any bad games. They were all very average or above average. Nothing crazy. <laughs> nothing bad so as you can see i'm just trying to play it as a pure support tank i just want to be able to peek and get my shots off because now i have this dreadful 36 second reload absolutely atrocious and here's an example of the amazing accuracy on this gun <laughs> It's very, it, it is extremely troll sometimes, and that is one thing that I find very annoying about the tank, because you have to make all your shots count in order to be effective in this tank. And so that pretty much concludes all the gameplay that I wanted to show for this tank. I, would, I ended this game, it's one of the better games I had with 2800 damage, which is great, and uh, now I'll show you how I ended the night with the T-77. Okay, and this concluded my night in the T-77. Not bad at all. A WTR rating of 10,900. Had a 66% victory rate. Over 2,000 damage average. And over 1,000 experience average. Honestly, it's not a bad tank. Um, you just have to know how to play it as a support tank and not try to be leading any fights as a heavy. Okay, so my final thoughts on the T-77. I don't like that they keep implementing the loot box systems that we've seen um, both at the Christmas or last Christmas time and that we see now. On the other hand, I also think that Wargaming seems to do it better than most other companies. You actually get good things out of their loot boxes and they're relatively cheap and honestly I didn't get any duplicates uh, with uh, especially with the other Waffen Traeger chests that are up right now which I know you don't purchase those but I didn't get any duplicates as far as stickers and emblems out of those overall the T77 is a good tank should you spend more than 10 to 20 bucks trying to get it I would say no um, if it was a premium tank that would have been $50 or over I wouldn't have spent the money to get it to be honest but since I got it for 18 bucks I'll take it it's okay not amazing play it as a support tank <laughs> and a final note don't play it in competitive games because that th that 36 second th to 38 second reload is so bad it renders the tank completely useless. Definitely not a tank for competitive. And with that, I hope you guys have a good night and take care.